Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Dietitian for Life. When we tell you about our weeks. And he just um, launched in as I was like mid conversation again. He's trying to get it. me to be like 2019 blue for real. Thousand on this lock. A little <laughs> lock emoji or something right here. What's that? Is that a blooper? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, she's trying hard this year. Uh, so. This week, uh, we've done a lot of kind of planning. It's still early on in the year, so trying to restructure our management uh, of the company. Uh, here we have someone going maternally in bed, which is like a pillar of our organization. So her loss will mean changes in workload for other people. Um, we're following up on a lot of clients that have, seek, have shown interest in our services. So doing that a lot, uh, and we're trying to get a collaboration from the team to help each other complete that work. Uh, New hires have been freaking awesome. Um, all of the new Good interviewing. Yeah. Good hiring. <laughs> yeah, so fingers crossed that keeps keep, continues. So it should. Um, yeah, it's been really good to, to see how excited uh, people are to start their work as a dietitian. Uh, it's it's really good. Um, and if you haven't seen and you haven't been interacting with us on Dietitian Life, Facebook Lifers, um, anywhere really, you can reach us anywhere. Um, we are always still on the lookout and hunt. There was a huge um, response to Tyson's. Um, looking for work. Looking for anyone, really. So that was really nice. And just remember, you don't go unnoticed. So people's names that pop up all over the place as soon oh, as you get them. your resume, I'm like, I know that person. I spoke to that person. Yeah, I think there's been three emails this week where someone mm -hmm. else in the company's got a resume and Peter's like, yeah, I know her from DL. She's asked questions. and she's engaged with our posts a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we notice. We notice all of that little, little stuff. So the more you're commenting and engaging with us, mm -hmm the more we, we learn about you and the relationship can form. So then when it gets to those things, you might just get an interview just because of that. Mm -hmm. So if nothing else, that's a good reason to engage. Um, networking on point. <laughs> networking on point. Uh, Peter and I yesterday went to Ipswich. Uh, Peter did some shadowing. Uh, we met with another new hire. Oh, they were both new hires. We went with another one around their, their goals. You've been having those conversations. Yeah, so for me this week and pretty much the next couple of weeks, it's just bulk catch-ups. Um, obviously being expansive, it's really difficult to do all of that in person. So yeah, just trying to direct the company towards their goals and ambitions and trying to make sure that people identify with them. It's um, obvious that I don't think we think about that enough. And then Not everyone does. plan towards it. So in order to grow I think you need to at least shape that growth and have people supporting you so that's the goal for me at the moment is just find out what you want what they want also did a uh, little bit of a Instagram post this week nobody saw that so there was a Hayes practitioner um, who is very vocal that started shaming other people uh, started well, shaming the okay. dietitians for not being Hayes. Uh, we decided that that's not okay and we did not agree. Uh, so we did a bit of a parody post of what they did because we feel like it was just a very, very loaded and unprofessional and inappropriate uh, use of just social media and just something that you shouldn't say in general um, for the purpose of bringing our profession. Or and the response? It and the response, look, like they're always going to be getting more engagement than what we will because of the emotive nature of it. Um, it's just like, you know, a wellness blogger that will post something outrageous about a diet. They're going to get a lot more um, engagement than someone that says the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating. Uh, so it's just one of those things. But with us, you know, a lot of the people who were commenting uh, were often students who were kind of resistant to what, what we said and what we were doing. Not, not the lot of people that were commenting um, <laughs> weren't, were weren't. Yeah, weren't a dietitian or a student. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so it was just interesting to see. And then I had a lot of, I, I replied to everyone about all of that, talked through all their points, uh, tried to, to teach them about our point of view that we're not against haze. Like at all, we're not against it. We utilize the concepts in different ways. We help our practitioners use the concepts. We get people like Shane Jeffrey on to do professional development with our practitioners. Uh, we are not against it. What we're against is separating the profession and telling people that you should be this or this. There's no in between. You must choose a side, you know, like red or blue. Like it's just bullshit. You so, want integration, and there's no way that you can be a skilled, amazing, holistic. Um, practitioner, if you are one side of the fence or not, I think it would be completely ridiculous so and stupid for you to do that because ultimately, and especially when it's new grads, 
so many new grads now just jumping on this high bandwagon of haze, uh, and you don't really know, you've got no concept of what weight loss is like, oh, but everyone regains their weight. Bullshit. Uh, your research is only one part of it. Uh, so uh, Something just... interesting that I found out yesterday Oh yeah. Yeah, was um, interesting enough, all the Hayes research and the people that um, have been um, used in their research studies are all women. I knew that. I didn't. Yeah. There you go. I, I struck. I knew something. How... How biased is that? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Well, that's why. That's, so therefore, that's not that. Like that is not useful research. Yeah, so it's a homogeneous solution of research that said, "Oh, hey, this will work." Um, only for women. Yeah, only for women. That's what it is. Who struggle with weight loss and do this, this, and this, and this. Yeah, a lot of them have disordered eating, weight eating disorders prior to a lot of that stuff. Mm. Um, and yeah, for sure, it fixes those groups of people. But what about the other people? Yeah, you've got to be emotive. You've got to be emotive about food for that to be. Mm. You know, like in the conversation we had yesterday with a certain someone. Um, and we see it all the time, men versus women. Yeah, and it's just like, you know, it's like, well, just if a man comes in and just like, just tell me what to do, I'll do it. Mm. Easy, done, sweet, there you go, weight loss, mm. achieved. That's where you might use a meal plan, you might get the weight on the scales, you might do that, you focus on that, um, and it gets you results and the client's happier and they sustain it forever. Mm. Um, you know, versus women, you well, you might not do that, and certain men, you still might not. Yeah. Um, but That's the same the side of the coin, not all women are homogeneous either. Like a lot of women will be like, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just that the point we're trying to make is that doing this and saying, this is how you must do, making every practitioner fit this mold, making every client that you see fit that and do what you say in regards to health at every size or non dieting or body positivity and all that, it's just wrong. So I think anything that yeah, anything that separates things and makes things black and white like that is just not the best way forward and not the best way forward for our profession and definitely not the best way forward for you to be the best practitioner possible. Boom! So, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what else we've been doing. I think that's a lot of it. Vayner is this Saturday, so we leave in New York. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. It's going to be a, a chaotic. You know, it's really only a day that we're with Vayner there, but we're there for a week. Uh, so we'll be doing a lot of different stuff. We're doing like a lot if we of like each other, otherwise we might kill ourselves. Yesterday was a great start for us. Kill, kill each other, you mean. And hopefully not kill ourselves. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, should be, it'll be an interesting time. Uh, I'm sure I'll find a brewery to escape to at some point. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, we'll be trying all the foods. Uh, we'll be getting around at New York. Uh, we'll be doing creating a lot of content for you guys, so stay tuned so on much. Snapchat, yeah. Instagram, um, and we're going to be rolling out a lot across Facebook and YouTube over the next coming weeks based on this trip. Mm -hmm. So if you're only just joining the Dark to Your Life journey, you've probably chosen a great time to do it because it's going to just launch. That's what I'm feeling. That's <laughs> what I'm feeling. Yeah, go all this. Anyway, cool. All right, thanks guys. That's it from us. Uh -huh. uh, see you next week as usual. If you do see have you any in questions. New York. If you do have any questions, <laughs> if there is anything you'd like to ask, we're always here. If you just want to share in the DMs around your feelings rather than commenting publicly, we always respond. Yeah, Instagram, respond. I'm there. Make sure you check my story from last night. It was pretty special. That was a lot of engagement. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's good. All right, cool, guys. Peace.